Okay, so now let's get to uh, train subsurface scattering. Uh, when using turtle, uh, you should use that shader uh, BSS RDF shaders and uh, for redshift you should use uh, redshift skin or redshift subsurface scatter and for Arnold uh, you should use Arnold ascender surface I don't have V-Ray here but uh, if I remember correctly for V-Ray you can use uh, V-Ray MTL, V-Ray L surface and V-Ray subsurface uh, scatter I don't remember if Weary has uh, a skin shader also. If it has, it uh, it is probably supported as well. So let's give it a try. Okay. And as you can see, nothing happened. I don't see any subsurface uh, in the object. And that is because I, I had my SSS core is set to uh, something else. And these other cores doesn't support each other shaders so I'm going to just use turtle and try to build again and it worked but uh, the material is just too white and that is because uh, when you assign a uh, SSS shader it creates a new material for you and it doesn't have any light map or anything and most of the time uh, the SSS color is uh, probably what you want. You no longer need night, uh, light map uh, or anything for the uh, overall look of the object. But I still recommend that you bake the light map because you need it for reflection. So I'm going to bake the light map for this one. Okay. Let's give it a try with Richard. Uh, when using Redshift, I recommend that you use the point base method as uh, it leads to uh, less noise. Uh, so I'm going to use this one. And this is the redshift result. And we can try with Arnold. Uh, let's use the default skin. We can uh, increase the SSS sample to achieve a cleaner result. And you can also always uh, edit these textures manually. So let's actually uh, lower the slides intensity. Uh, all of the light maps and uh, subsurface maps that you have are saved to your hard drive and you can just uh, manually use them in other game engines or uh, you can edit them in Photoshop the way you want so for example here for uh, this uh, SSS effect uh, if I want to just uh, quickly remove the noise uh, without increasing the sample I can just come over here and this one I'm going to edit this in Photoshop okay so now I can just do a quick blur and save it now if I reload you can see that it gives me a very clean uh, SSS effect and you can also do the same thing uh, with your lighting uh, <coughs> and reflection and it can be very good uh, for creating stylized uh, effects.